Hi guys, it's Cody and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how I made the first of three vests for my Sapphire Gentleman cosplay from Sakizo. For the pattern, I combined two different vest patterns. This one, which is a more of a male cowboy style, and this Aidoru one. I then cut the pieces out from my lining fabric. The reason why I decided to do this instead of trying to do a mock-up was because I'm pretty confident at doing vest patterns, so I just went ahead and did the lining as my test run. Off camera, I sewed all the pieces together and checked the fit, and then I also went ahead and did a basting stitch all around the perimeter and on the armholes. Alright, time for the real deal. My main fabric is going to be this navy blue micro velvet, and here's a little tip when working with velvet. You want to cut it first on a single layer, flip the pattern over, and then cut it again. Then I trace all of my markings with a tracing wheel and chalk paper. And for the button markings, I went over them with a basting stitch in a contrasting thread. And the final preparation I did was hand baste the interfacing to the fabric. With that all done, I can now go ahead and start sewing the vest together for real. And instead of using my iron to press my seams, I used this little mini steamer. Next, I began adding the trim. Because velvet is extremely slippery, I first hand basted it and then went over it with machine. In the footage you saw, I used a running base stitch and then went over it by machine. However, I since discovered that a back stitch works a lot better in holding everything together. To prevent the trim from flipping, I use hemming tape to hold it down. Turning back to the lining, I used the basting stitches that I made earlier to iron the edges over. However, I realized that the basting stitches had actually made the lining shrink, so once I finished ironing the edges, I ripped the seams out. Then I went through the extremely tedious process of hand sewing the lining to the vest. All that was left to do was the final touches. The first thing I did was make all the buttonholes, and because these are going to be non-functioning, I just did these by machine. And after I finished sewing the buttons, I ripped all the basting threads out. And with that, my open vest was done. That is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cosplay content from me. Or if you want to see me dance, please feel free to check out my dance channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye